Well, it's Monday morning and we're uh, hauling to Frito. So, we got the truck this morning and it's about five miles, five miles I'd say, north of the farm. So, it's a pretty nice, short, easy drive. Get a lot of loads in a day being this close to Frito. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Dad's hauling all day or not. I think he was maybe wanting to do some other things and I was going to keep hauling, but I guess we'll see. We're down to the sweet bogger and the van we're hauling out of. Getting close to empty, and uh, I doubt we'll finish it another day because it's a pretty big bend. But yeah, it's just kind of what's going on. Uh, I'll see you at Frito. Well, here we are. Frito Lay. Better hit the old tarp here. So we'll weigh in right here and get probed and then uh, wait for a sign and we'll go back to the pit and dump. Wait for the buzzer and then we pull up to the next station up there. Uh -huh. So now we're pulled up in front of the pit at this little uh, station here. And that little white thing, uh, it's a card reader. So read your card and uh, yep, just tells me to go to pit two and then it tells you your numbers. And now we head back to pit two and uh, dump the load. Pretty nice, that Frito's empty this morning. There ain't a single person in here. Except for dad, he just left. Nobody here this morning. Wow. Six one forty. Ticket will come out right there. There it is. So since we're so close to Frito, if you run hard all day long, you can you can get almost you can get probably about ten loads a day. And I mean that's if everything's working smooth, Ben's Ben's really thrown out the corn, and uh, that's a lot of load in a day. Looks like dad's getting another load. Sweet.
loaded down and heading back to Frito. You know, we're pretty fortunate to have Frito Lay within five, six miles of our farm because uh, the only other handling facility they got is in Gothenburg, Nebraska. So we're pretty, pretty fortunate we got them right here. It was dead this morning and now, uh, now we're going to be waiting in line on pit two. Well, we don't have much left here. It should fit on a truck pretty darn easy, so get this one all wrapped up and then head over to the next one. There it is. All empty. So I wasn't able to fill the truck emptying that bin, so we're moving the auger over another bin and gonna get started there. Windy. This bin's about half full still. So the belt broke. And it's full of grain. Not very convenient. Done hauling for the day. I jacked this thing all the way up and the grain slid all the way down to the bottom to put in that skid steer bucket and he's getting ready to put it in the truck. Oh man, I'm wore out. This thing's hard, hard to crank, but got it all cleaned up. So we'll take it somewhere to get fixed. Well, we won't be hauling any corn until that's fixed. So I'm in the quad right now, heading up to get the field cool there. It's about a mile and a half up the road at a shed. So I'll head up there, I'm gonna hook it up and bring it back to the farm. So this bat wing's in front of the field cultivator. And I thought maybe I could uh, do this here, but that's not gonna work. So gotta bring another tractor over. I think dad's on its way with it. Move this out of the way and then hook up to that. So he's also bringing me a hitch pin because this is a smaller smaller hitch pin this tractor's got an oversized draw bar and uh got this adapter in here let's see if i can slide it up right here because our uh, tile plow couldn't get an oversized hitch for it so we just got that adapter and uh so he's got to bring the bigger hitch pin so i can use it because i don't want to use a smaller one might as well use the big one well i got it hooked up bat wings coming home and uh, take it to the farm, hooked hydraulics up. Well, I got it all hooked up. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these before. It's called Lend a Hand. Holds the hydraulic hoses up. Man, it's slick. It moves like this. Pretty nice. That's gonna be it for this video. Dad's just doing a little greater boxing right now in the driveway because it's kind of rutted up from when it was soft. If you haven't already, hit that sub button, like the video, and thanks for watching.